r slash r credit by redition. Like and subscribe. What is your Tinder horror story? It ended up being a double date with his mom and her ok cupid date. He told me that he and his mom were a package deal. I was mortified and there was no second date. Not me, but I worked as a bartender for a while and heard a lot of horror stories second hand. This one girl who was a regular came in and told me about an awful Tinder date she had. Not sure of the specifics, but it wasn't bad enough for her to not bring him home afterward. He leaves the next morning, she brushes it off as a one night stand, and a few days later, her debit card gets declined. Odd, since she is a bartender herself at a fairly busy place in our city, and is good about saving, and usually flush with cash. She goes to check her debit card, turns out there were a bunch of charges at Best Buy, Grubhub, a bunch of other stuff. Curious, she checks her credit card too. There she found a bunch of charges for streaming services. Netflix, Hulu, Sling, everything. She goes to confront the guy and finds out he deleted his profile. But she remembers a friend they had in common on Facebook. She reaches out to the mutual friend to try and track him down, and it turns out he did the exact same thing to that mutual friend. Not sure if what the outcome was, but she was out for blood after a mediocre hookup turned into a serious case of identity theft. Sexted with this really hot girl, after matching for about a day, and she starts getting all kinky with me. She then tells me she's actually a guy trolling me. I said jokes on you cause I'm bi. He unmatched. I went on a date with this guy, who I didn't really have anything in common with, but thought I'd give him a shot anyways. We met up at a bar, and he had already pounded two pitchers of beer, but was completely sober, at least from what I could tell. We hung out, talked, and although he seemed nice enough, I wasn't quite feeling it. I wanted to leave, but he convinced me to go to another bar, to get one last drink. Seeing as it was only about 8pm I agreed to one more drink. We were sitting at the bar and a couple was making out next to us. He looked at me and asked what I thought people in the bar would do if he and I started making out. I knew where this was going I tried to laugh and make some joke about no one paying attention. He then insisted that we should make out. I nervously laughed and told him that wasn't a very good idea and excused myself to the restroom. I came back to the seat, and he had a shot waiting for me, and insisted I drink it, no shot for him, just me. I declined and he got really upset, and said he was ready to go. At that point in the evening he had consumed two pitchers of beer, four margaritas, and two more pints yet displayed no sign of being intoxicated. Nonetheless I knew there was a lot of alcohol in his system, and asked if he thought it was a good idea for him to drive. He got extremely defensive, and said he was fine, we exited the bar and he took off in the opposite direction. When I got home I texted him, just to make sure he was okay, because he had so much to drink. His response? I only date girls I flip on the first date. Dodged a bullet with that one. I went on a Tinder date a couple months ago on a Sunday afternoon. Met up with the guy around 3, he had a really good energy, and was funny and complimentary. The place we wanted to go, had a long line, so we went to another restaurant on the water for a drink and appetizers. He started slamming down mates. I had one, he had three. They were strong. Like, I was tipsy borderline drunk off of one. The bar had a two mate tape a person limit, but he found another bartender to get his third. He got drunker and drunker, and started telling me he loved me, joking at first but getting increasingly serious. As we left he asked me to marry him, I kind of laughed it off, and was like maybe we take it slow, we just met each other. He got so mad he stormed off, and left me on a street corner. Then as soon as he got home, it was 5pm, he started texting me come over. And I miss you. He was 43. WTF. He told me he's not gay, but he prefers to have sex with men, and prefers to be on the bottom. I asked if he was bi, and he said no I'm straight I just like getting flipped in the A, and then he asked me if he could pee in my butt, 
cause he's always wanted to try it, but he won't top guys, so he can't find out how it feels. He's the head football coach of a private college in my state and that made it even weirder somehow. Edit, just wanna rat that I'm a woman and not a gay man at all lol. I messaged a girl who wanted to meet up, so I go out to the coffee shop and she's not there. I ask her what's up, and she totally admits to being a dude catfishing me, just so he could check me out in public, and goes on a rant about what a shame it is, that I'm a lesbian, because he totally flipped me. I feel like the creepiest part for me was, that he never once tried to get nudes or anything, which I'd at least understand the effort for, he just wanted to stare at me in public. Went on a date, after talking to this guy for a few weeks, and I told him I was thinking of getting my nose pierced, but was afraid it would hurt. We are walking through a park in broad daylight and this dude takes a safety pin out of his pocket, and flipping jams it through his nostril. Blood pours down his face. He laughs and says see. No big deal. Dude. WTF. I've been waiting for the right thread for this. After a movie date with a guy I met on Tinder, we came back to my place. We'll call him dude. I told him we could hang for a bit, but I have work in the morning, so I would need to go to sleep soon. Dude said that was fine, but he was hungry, and he was going to order food. Okay sure. Dude orders two large subs from Potbelly and a milkshake. Damns it. No judgment, he's 6 feet 4. 210 pounds, younger still growing, by all means. I didn't think anything of it until later. We end up messing around a bit, and fall asleep in bed. I wake up to my front door opening, and closing several times over a 5 minute period. My dogs are going nuts, and it's 1am. What the heck is this guy doing? I open the door to my room. That opens up to the rest of my apartment and my bathroom is to the left, where the light is on and the door is wide open. I walk around the corner, to make eye contact with dude, who is in a squatting position over my toilet, with a stick, poking around in murky brown poop water that is millimeters from overflowing onto my bathroom floor. Horrified, he yells, stop looking at me. Go back to bed. I have it under control. I'm still waking up trying to understand what I'm seeing, and what's going on, and I just start nervous laughing, I don't know what else to do. He yells, why don't you have a plunger? And I said I don't know I never needed one until now. He tells me to go back to bed, he has it under control, I'm so disturbed, tired, can't process what's happening, and have work in the morning I go back to bed. I remember hearing him peek in my room a bit later and heard, I fixed it, and then heard him leave, and my door closed behind him, the next morning. I hesitantly approach my toilet, to find the water is down. But there is something poking out from the bottom of the toilet, like he didn't get it all. Upon further inspection, what I was seeing, was the tip of a stick. Some gloves, towels and BBQ tongues later I pulled out approximately 3 foot of stick from my toilet, that had broke off, followed by several other stick fragments. Dude had broke several sticks. I heard my door open and close so much, because he was going outside to look for a stick, one would break, he'd go get another. Dude had left drippy poop water stains all over my bathroom floor. He also left my apartment so fast, that he left his underwear, and undershirt and socks. After work that day, I went straight to the store, and bought a plunger. Lesson learned. Too long didn't read, guy from Tinder ate a bunch right before bed, took a huge poop, while I was asleep, woke up to him trying to plunge the toilet with a stick he found outside. This guy asked me, if I would be interested in dating his dad. Not me but a friend. Matched with a guy, and turned up to their date. Told her he was 6 foot, and was way shorter than that. Told her how he would murder someone, and get away with it during the entire date. There was no second one. So I met this girl on Tinder, and went for a lunch date. We had a pretty good connection, so we decided to have dinner as well. After having a few drinks one thing led to another, and ended up back at my place, we hooked up, and went to sleep. Middle of the night I wake up. She's intensely staring at me, while she's crouched behind the bed. 
I asked her if everything is alright, she said yes, and got back into bed. I thought little creepy, but probably nothing to worry about. She lays down to cuddle with me and she's wet. At the time, I was like damn I must just be a stallion. Fast forward to the morning, she's gone and there's a wet puddle beside the bed. She peed on my floor. I still don't understand it. I had a bathroom, but maybe she just got lost and couldn't hold it? I did not hear from her again. Edit, just want to be clear, we were both tipsy and not sloppy drunk. Talked to him for 2 weeks before we went out and no red flags, so we ended up going out to dinner. I said I hadn't been out in a while because I was trying to save money for a washer and dryer. He told me instead of saving for that I should save for a boob job. I didn't even know how to reply, so he followed up with, no it's not a bad thing, my sister and mom both had small tits and got boob jobs and they look amazing. This is all before the waitress even brought our drinks. I just got up and left. First date, she wanted me to get into a bar fight with the perfectly friendly guy who'd bought us a round of shots that night. Why? Because she found out he was a Scorpio. Astrology chicks are crazy. Matched with this cute girl a few years back. Went out for drinks. It was going well, decided to head out to the beach with a six pack to stargaze and make out. Somehow we ended up on a stolen sailboat at 2am with her ex, an old drunken boat repairman, who made copies of the keys to steal the boat, and her dog. After arguing with her ex for 30 minutes she blacks out and falls asleep. Her dog is scared out of its mind and is shitting everywhere. Her ex starts tripping on acid and yells at me that I have to take care of her and never hurt her. Then runs to the bow of the boat to finish his trip. The old drunken boat thief is just chilling and chugging vodka like it was water. I said flip it, cleaned up after the dog and brought the poor pup inside the cabin with me, then passed out. Next morning I woke up to the girl and her ex screaming at each other about some car crash and whose fault it was. The old boat thief was gone, and I had no clue where I parked. I left without them noticing, got some coffee and breakfast, and wandered around the harbor, until I found my car. Never talked with her again, but I didn't delete Tinder. Edit, the ex and old drunk boat thief are two different people. Also how we ended up on the boat. She got a call from her ex, I didn't find out he was her ex, until we were already out of the harbor, and she asked me if I wanted to go sailing with some friends. I'm drunk and I love sailing. So I said hell yeah. Not my story, but I knew a guy who had a Freudian slip, more dark side Kermit, bad enough that it ruined everything. I was told this by him, after he got home, and suffice to say he was like why the flip did I say that? Date had been going well, and they were walking back to a bus station. They passed a creepy alley, and she said something to the effect of why I would not like to go down that alley, to which he responded I imagine you are very grapeable. Suffice to say, she ran for the hills, and he was mortified. He very much was not a creepy person, and had no clue why the hell he said that, nor has he, to the extent of my knowledge, graped anyone. But Christ almighty do I agree with the girl's decision to run. It completely destroyed my self confidence, got very few matches and the ones I did get were either fake accounts, didn't reply, or unmatched me almost immediately. Eventually Tinder decided to just put me out of my misery and banged me for no apparent reason. This girl I matched with just messaged to troll me. I was like hey what's up, and she was like, don't talk to me, unless you plan on flipping me with your 9 inch duck. I forgot what my reply was, but she obviously never messaged back. Then a week later I'm getting McDonald's and this girl was the one who handed me my food. She recognizes me instantly and just had this total look of fear in her eyes. I walked out of there so quick. That poor girl thought I purposely sought her out, to confront her or something. First date, we went to see a movie. She brought her sister along, without consulting me first, and I somehow ended up paying for both of their tickets. Bit of a dormer told me. We went to see Star Wars, The Force Awakens. 
turns out, neither of them had seen a Star Wars film before, nor had any idea at all what was going on. Awesome. Date ended at McDonald's after the movie with one hour plus of her eating fries one at a time, and her sister talking she about basically every one at her work. To this day I'm not sure what that date was even about. There was no second date. I went to his place and we hooked up, but after he goes, so you wanna know what I'm really into? And I was like sure, and then he grabs my foot. I have a really irrational fear of people touching my feet. So I ran the hell out of there, anyway I get to the living room on the way out, and it turns out, to be his parents house, and I look at his mother, and see she was my old therapist. She smoked some meth. Her dogs ate my wallet. Met up with a Tinder girl at Dave and Buster's. She brought me there for a flipping pyramid scheme sign up presentation. Guess I respect the hustle. Me and a girl agreed to a hookup, this was a few years ago. We did the traditional swap nudes beforehand, to make sure we both liked what we saw, and she shows up to my place 5 months pregnant. I asked how the flip she hid that stomach, and she said hey you only asked to see my tits and a you never asked for a full body. Touché. But flip you. Met a guy, decent conversation, smart funny mutual nerdy hobbies. We decide to meet up at the local gamer bar, and play some games, while having our first date. Get in, sit down, dude has no teeth. Says a hack dentist told him they all had to be removed, couldn't get dentures due to budget, needed to wait for bone shards to fall out of his gums, etc. Proceeded to spit all over our food while talking, which granted, I knew he couldn't help, but if he can hide something this big from someone, what else could he be hiding? Plus I couldn't stomach the thought of making out with someone with no teeth. Well I've only gone on one Tinder date, we talked for a bit, and I agreed to pick her up at Starbucks. She looked nothing like her pictures, but I thought I should be nice and at least hang out with her for a bit. We went to her place and the entire house reeked like cat pee. Like saturated. Then as she proceeded to show me her massive collection of animal tail butt plugs, she screamed at her chihuahua and smacked it right on the nose, and without missing a beat just asks if I want to make out on the couch. I awkwardly sat down and pretended to look at my phone and made up that my grandma was dying so I could get the flip out. Said she wanted to record us having sex so she could send it to her ex-husband. Over dinner she told me she enjoyed being hit and her favorite kind of sex was safe word grape. I deleted Tinder. Found a profile using a picture of me that was obviously ripped from my Facebook account. Come to find out it was my ex-wife trying to stir up drama and problems between my current wife and myself. A single friend of ours texted me a screenshot of it. My wife is an intelligent woman and didn't fall for it. This became a horror story for my ex, because this among other shady things she had done landed her with stalking charges and identity theft charges. Sucks to be stupid. Found this really hot woman close by, talked for a bit, and went out for pizza then back to her place. A few weeks later I met her kid, who absolutely adored me. Now we live together, and have another child. Deleted Tinder. Never again. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment any of your Tinder horror stories below.